Well, 40 high school students from around the country are getting ready for a science showdown this weekend. They are headed to the National Intel Talent Search Competition in Washington, D.C., and Tui Vu met one very talented finalist from San Jose. So first of all, you probably want to know what a random walk is. Yi Sun loves math in an almost poetic way. There's something about the simplicity and like symmetries present in math that makes it really beautiful for me. Sun not only loves it, but is brilliant at it. Brilliant enough to be one of 40 finalists in the National Intel Science Competition. When he was in eighth grade, he can already compete. Or he is, his level of mathematics is already at par with that of the high school seniors. The son of immigrants from Shanghai is now a senior at the private Harker School in San Jose. He spent the summer researching his Intel project. So I did some research about a uh, structure in a field of mathematics called combinatorics. And presented it to an advanced calculus class today. So this sort of measures the strength of the polymer. Did you really understand all of that? No. No, I did not. Like all the symbols he used was very complicated and I didn't understand most of that. Do you get that reaction a lot? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sun says his formula will help determine how strong a chemical compound called a polymer will be and can be used in all kinds of scientific research. He hopes to win Intel's top prize, a $100,000 scholarship. Nervous? Yeah. Very nervous. It's a big deal to be a star here. This school is full of super smart kids. In fact, this year, the National College Board ranked it number one in the world in advanced calculus and chemistry. But never mind all that. Sun just wants everyone to know he's like any other teenager. Are you interested in, in girls at this stage, or are you more interested in math? Uh, I'd, I have to say girls, but I don't know. <laughs> In San Jose, Tui Vu, CBS 5 Eyewitness News. Yee. Yee Sun is leaving for Washington, D.C. tomorrow for the week-long competition. He is one of just three finalists from California. Coming up tonight at 11 on Eyewitness News, lung cancer.